Almost everybody knows what earwigs are. I've got two clips for you today. Ones in this first clip are maritime earwigs, a very large species, exceeding an inch. These ones aren't fully grown, but they're fighting over a fish food pellet I dropped in there, a rather large one. One of the characteristics of this species are the yellow legs. They also have rather dark bodies. And their forceps, those two appendages at the end, are asymmetrical. They don't match up. They're slightly differently shaped. The species that you guys are more familiar with are European earwigs. Those are the ones that we most commonly see in backyards. Both the species in this video here and then in the next clip here, they're both established here in the United States, though they don't originate here. The word earwig may be a reference to the little uh, wing covers that you see there. Um, they're sort of ear-shaped. Dermaptera, their order, their insect order taxonomically, means skin and wings. Derm Aptera, and so the wings are kind of skin-like in appearance. Not common to see them fighting like you did in this video, but in captivity they will battle each other a little bit for territory or resources. One of the interesting things about earwigs is that the females, the mothers, they exhibit maternal care. I see them very frequently in the springtime, a mother with an entourage of babies trailing behind her. And apparently the babies will stay with her until after they molt and become second instar. The mother also cares for the eggs, 